Someone ordered every every retro print I have, mini print. All of these. The only one they didn't order was the burger phone. <laughs> Poor burger phone. Um, but yeah, that's so cool. Someone ordered all of these. They must really love retro stuff. So I just had to print out a couple of extra ones. I'm gonna pack these up very delicately so they don't get ruined. This is the most many prints I've ever sold together. They're all a bit different size. I have my light on, that's why there's like a halo here, sorry. And then I also have this order dotted plant book and some house stickers and some plant stickers. I'm just double checking the stickers ever since I had that little problem where I accidentally gave Martin's mum stickers that didn't come off. I have been checking them. I think I also an extra little print for both just because it's a Tuesday. I'm running out of, this is gone. So disappointing. I only have this disgusting glitter one. Ugh, glitter. I would need to get myself some better washi tapes. And this dispenser, honestly, just drives me up the wall, this dispenser does. I don't know if it helps or not. And I actually have ordered some new envelopes. Hopefully they'll be here soon, because I'm down to five. <laughs> And I didn't even realise I was so low. I thought I had some hidden away, but I didn't. And then this one here, I think I'll try and put in some tissue paper. I pre-cut all this tissue paper a while ago and I regret it heavily. Because sometimes it just doesn't, it doesn't fit, which is why I don't use it much anymore. Kind of, it's too small, see? Looks a little bit messy. Ta da! And look, everything is better with the logo sticker. And I know Susan watches uh, watches these vlogs, so uh, Susan, if you're watching, um, I hope you enjoyed the struggle. Sorry, it's not super professional, but. I learnt my lesson, do not cut that uh, tissue paper again. Will it fit? Yes, it will. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit frisky, I put some extra stickers on. I don't do this all the time, but I like to put a little sticker on the back and it says, hello. So many extra stickers from, I can't remember where, where from, I just have extra stickers. I really love this one, this is like one of my favourite little birds I did. Ta da! Cute little birdies. Having this label printer is so handy and look. I mean, just don't look at the mess under there, guys. No one should really be looking under computers, should they? Two little orders, and it's not even 8 a.m. Turn the lights and make it pretty behind me. Purple, green. That's more on brand. Well, it's about 8 a.m. now on Tuesday, and uh, yeah. Those are my orders done for the day, so that's pretty good. I have gotten out of uh, like a schedule doing orders. I kind of just do them when they come in now, which is which is good because then they uh, come in, come in, they go out. Unless I'm like super busy or it's a Saturday. I don't do orders on a Saturday for some reason because I think it's because Sunday's not a posting day. So I'm like, if I post it tonight, it's not going to go anywhere, you know. 
sorry for the noise it's really noisy outside i think it's 8 a.m and everyone's just getting ready to go to work and stuff or going to work not me i'm in the office i've got another hour before i have to go to work um so this week martin and i i think i mentioned it last week we have a little bit of freelance uh, work that's come through martin what martin's old job so i'm gonna help him out on that it's uh, nothing interesting or exciting at all it's literally just it's e-learning so martin's gonna be making like some e-learning courses and i'm gonna be doing all the images for it so illustrations images graphs uh you know photoshop stuff so yeah not that exciting but uh it's gonna help help us save for our mortgage which is good and there might be a few more in the future so it is one more thing to add to my plate which is already pretty full uh but we're gonna done somehow who needs sleep i do actually i actually really like sleep and i make sure i always get sleep so guys even if you're really busy make sure you always get some sleep because it's very important it helps your brain function helps your body function and trust me the amount of times when i was younger and i did all-nighters or double all-nighters and then i would mess up work i would get things wrong from being tired it's not worth it it's not worth it guys one time i literally almost destroyed an entire project um at work it was not even at uni i, I was thinking was it at uni it wasn't it was at work i deleted a file and it was like the entire project uh because i was tired so I saved it though, but don't don't be tired. Get sleep. Rant over. <laughs> Sleepy rant over. Uh, so basically what I was trying to say is I'm trying to get all of my monkey business done in the morning and then this this uh, afternoon, no, the, the evenings this week, Martin and I will be working and this weekend we'll be working as well. Uh, half the weekend hopefully because I, I do have quite a lot of stuff to do. Also Martin's parents come down the weekend so that's going to be like half a day taken up. And then I think on Sunday our landlord is coming, so that'll be a couple of hours where I can't really do anything. Like I don't have to be there the whole time and like chat with him, my does that. Someone in the house that's fixing something or you're waiting for a delivery or I don't know, your landlord's there fixing light bulbs. Like you can't really do anything, you can't relax, you can't really, you know, get to work or playtime, whatever you want, whatever you're doing that day. Yeah, that's gonna be a couple of hours just like taking out the day. So I'm trying to be very organized this week, which is why I've been getting up at 6 a.m. again on the dot. And I've been doing a little run walk in the morning uh, to wake up and do some exercise and then monkey business and then after work freelance apart from on Wednesday. I'm so excited guys. If you guys follow Franard, uh, Fran, Franard, Fran, Min, Min, Franard, uh, sh I've been following her for years, years. She was like literally the reason why I started to YouTube and possibly one of the reasons I, well, actually I started to draw before I watched her, but I think uh, Fran was probably the person who uh, made me want to like do YouTube and Instagram and stuff. With, with other people as well, like in the mix, but mainly Franard. So to say I'm super fan, number one, <laughs> would be understatement. When she lived in Hastings, which is a couple hours away from here, I did have a plan to go to Hastings and stalk out the coffee shop where she frequented just to meet her. Um, thankfully I didn't do that because that would be quite a stalkerish thing to do. So yeah, uh, she moved to New York after that, which was probably for the best for both of us. <laughs> But anyway, um, on Patreon, she has these friend dates where every month you can uh, it's called a friend date and they talk about different stuff. And I think there's a limited number of people, like maybe 10. And then it's um, Frenard and Lou, who's her assistant. I've never been able to get one because the little Patreon pops up, the notification pops up. And then you would literally have to, like within about 30 seconds, you have to be commenting. And it just so happened, I was on my phone when the notification popped up so i clicked it and i thought i wasn't gonna get a place because i was number 13th like 13th comment but it turns out a couple of people had commented twice or one person had actually commented three times so i got in i was place number 10 so on wednesday night at like 8 p.m we're having friend date and i'm so excited and this month's friend date is about small business owners and i think we're gonna be talking about small business stuff a bit nervous maybe might even put some mascara on i'm not sure um so yeah apart from wednesday gonna be working pretty hard every night but this was just a little intro ramble 
I haven't done one of these for a while because I didn't do a vlog last week. So this will be a vlog for this week. We'll come out next Monday. The week after that, um, I won't be vlogging because Martin and I are going to the Lake District for a long weekend. So I'm thinking I'll try and get an art video up for the Monday after this one. But I'm so excited, guys. We're going to the Lake District and it's going to be so much fun. But it's still a week and a half away, so I really should stop thinking about it and concentrate on the here and now. And here and now, uh, actually I need to go eat some breakfast because I'm really hungry and then I need to get some stuff ready for Patreon. It's the end of the month, I have a couple more bits to post the next couple of days before July comes up. So that'll be fun. So I will come back later and we'll have another little chat. Gotta love these chats, chatting with monkey. I'm back. I just realised as I turn the camera off you can see this weird thing right in the screen and you're probably wondering what this is. It's the handle for my guillotine. Uh, it looks a bit awkward right here, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a uh, Wednesday morning and my scanner has made um, modern art. This uh, scanner has been sounding a bit cranky for the last couple of days. Let's see if we can hear it. Well, it did it this time, but it's a bit, um, a bit noisy. Sometimes I hold my hand down on it to make the creases not be there. And I think that strains, strains the glass a little bit and, you know, like pushing down on this isn't the, probably the best. I've had a scanner for like three years though, maybe even four. And if you're wondering why I'm scanning, this is my sketchbook, well, one of my sketchbooks for Patreon, for the secret Patreon only sketch, sketchbook tour. It's not so secret anymore. No, I'm just joking. Uh, this has all been on Patreon already. Uh, but yeah, I've almost finished this one. Hopefully, finish it next month because I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's the um, it's the Midori MD notebook, and it's just very thin, very thin. And this is my favourite page from it. It's got some little houses on it and some little fruits. It's upside. It's uh, sideways right now, but we'll fix that. It's uh, Friday lunchtime right now. I've got the gas stove on, heating up a frying pan because I'm about to make some lunch. I haven't been on camera all week. I think the last time was Wednesday. Can't remember what we did, but guys, I haven't done anything all week. I've just been been doing some work, work for my day job. I did a couple of orders, did a couple of little bits for Patreon because it's the start of the month, but honestly, I have had a super chill week. I literally haven't done much at all. It's been really lovely. I'm gonna do lots of stuff at the weekend though, but first let's make lunch and we can talk about that later. Very excited for lunch. So for lunch we're gonna have uh, flatbread and these koftas from Waitrose are really nice uh, vegan koftas with salad. And in front of me got my love in the instant pot. I've made a meal almost every day in this since I got it last week, but not today. So the salad's gonna be super simple because we ran out of pretty much everything. We've got some peppers, spring onion, some sweet corn, and then I made this lemon and dill sauce in the yogurt pot um, <laughs> to save on washing up. It's uh, really yummy. So yeah, let's put it all together. So this is our lunch. If you have a, um, a rude mind like me, you might see something other than a kofta, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. It is Sunday morning and um, if it looks like I just woke up, I did. It's 7am right now and I'm in the office trying to do a little bit for the vlog, which I did have a quick look at last night and it was about 14 minutes. 
so I haven't actually got I haven't done anything this week for it and didn't really uh I haven't really done much actually I did some planning last night for next week and I realized this week probably should have done a bit more work because I have a lot of stuff I have to do in preparation for when Matt and I are away for like four days we have to do I have to do stuff that I'm meant to be posting then but also posting like a, a day or a couple of days after we get back because obviously I'm not going to have time to do it in that time when we get back so turns out I actually have a lot of work to do probably shouldn't have been relaxing so much this week but it has been quite nice and I did do a little bit of work I promise guys but um it has mainly just been chill chilling out a little bit and having a bit of a break uh so yesterday was Saturday I didn't film all day I don't think um mainly because guys there wasn't anything to see really we got I got up really early in the morning I think I played Minecraft for an hour and then Marsha and I had to tidy the house we had to do like quite a big clean because we had to do like all the laundry to clean the bathrooms and to I wanted to deep clean the kitchen again and we had to hoover everything basically just like the entire flat we cleaned because Martin's parents are coming were coming over but more importantly our landlord's coming over today to fix the lights so there's some cleaning and then Martin's parents came and they they wanted to come because we're going to be away from Martin's birthday so they wanted to come before to give him his presents and stuff so we went for a nice little walk and found lots and lots of little mushrooms I didn't take a photo of all of them I wanted to but I didn't I just took a photo of one and uh what else did we do we had yummy lunch and then martin's mum brought a birthday cake which was just from supermarket it was delicious it was the bosch chocolate cake if you guys know who bosch are they're a couple of um guys who do like food stuff they're food guys it was an amazing cake and yeah we played quite a lot of switch because martin's mum's favorite game is bomber man uh, no. And so we played Bomberman, Mario Kart, and then Matt and Dad had a go at zomb zombies, which is pretty funny to watch. Uh, big ones, you know, they won't come after you. So don't shoot that one. And yeah, it's just a really nice little day. So in the evening, I think I did a little bit of work with Patreon, I can't remember to be honest and then we watched the Minecraft videos, Martin and I, because we're quite into Minecraft right now. So today is actually going to be a busy day, uh, not for anything exciting unfortunately, but I think I mentioned last week maybe or on Twitch somewhere online that um, we have a little bit of freelance work coming in that Martin and I are working on together is to make e-learning, like an e-learning course. So he's going to be making the course on the computer uh, and I'm going to be doing all the images that go into the course like illustrations or graphs or getting photos like stock photos and changing them to how we want like that so we're working on that today hopefully get most of it done i do still have an update guys i still have an etsy shop <laughs> but i've kind of put uh the the etsy update like i'm still thinking about it but it's kind of like on the back burner right now just while i've got this freelance project on and also um because patreon has done is doing happy mail this month i got to 50 patrons last this month so or last month i think last month so as a goal it was to start doing happy mail so i'm starting that this month and obviously that's going to be a little bit extra work that i could do and still doing my children's book pro course uh basically i've just got a lot on just got a lot on so the next step for the etsy is to try and maybe make some stickers I have time before the end of this weekend i'll maybe see if i can we can make one little sticker pack just to get something done for the shop just to tick a little box off that we've done something this week for the etsy update and then we can do that every week um 2025 next etsy update guys <laughs> look forward to that another thing i actually forgot to mention is that we had twitch on friday night i'd always do twitch on Friday night 7 p.m. to about 10 p.m. UK time if you guys want to catch me on there we just do some sketching and some chatting and I might include a little clip in here from the twitch from a story that I shared about quitting my job because I thought it was pretty funny but I, I quit the job and I, I had planned up how to, how to quit the job and I, I planned it all and it was gonna it was fantastic so what I did I was in charge of one of the busiest sections of the restaurant 
uh, the family and it was a family section but it was also had large parties it was the biggest section of the restaurant and heaps of people would put tables together so you'd often have like tables of um, 10 people 12 people and then you'd have families you'd have kids running around you'd have kids throwing up in high chairs and their parents just handing you the high chairs it happened actually more often than you'd like to think about it it was awful I, I hated that job and I would fant- I would literally spend my days fantasizing about how I was going to quit the job so when I decided to quit they had these coloring pages that would used to go out to the kids and we had they had these uh, vegetables it was a tomato and a uh, sweet corn and I just like different characters that were in all of the different coloring pages and would get new ones every month and so I took the coloring page home and I put it into Photoshop and I drew my own coloring page and it was like the the animal the vegetables having a party there was a happy sun in the sky there was like a rainbow um there was like it was basically looked like a coloring book from the same set and then in big letters it said I quit on it and I printed out like 12 of them like 15 I was quite a lot and I right before I left I put them all around the restaurant like I put them in people's like sections like in their little cubby holes I put them on the food shelves I hid one in a bag of rice I was quite young guys I was like in my 20s so it was a bit silly um I hid them everywhere I put them everywhere and then I think it was like towards the evening right before it got really busy like seven o'clock I'd made sure all day I hadn't taken any money because you have to take money so I'd made them I told everyone all day long to go to the bar um, I just said, oh, my tool's not working, can you go to the bar? You know, whatever. So I didn't have any money, didn't have to worry about anything. And I knew that I wouldn't get paid for like the last week I was working there, but I didn't care. And I just walked out. I just left the back door and I drove home without telling anyone. <laughs> and uh, I had friends that, that worked in the pub and I still used to see them. And apparently they were telling me that they were finding these colouring pages like two months after I had left because I'd hidden them everywhere. <laughs> And that is my quitting, my quitting work job. The only time I've ever quit a job. It, it was quite a while ago. It was probably about ten years ago that I did that. So I was quite young, but still, like, I probably wouldn't recommend people to do that because it was a bit immature at the time. But still, it was hilarious. And also for Twitch, I worked on a couple of little bits, my overlays and some animations. So I thought for anyone who's interested in After Effects or kind of how I did that. Uh, I thought I would show you here. So, here it is. Hello, it's uh, voiceover April here, coming live at you on a Sunday morning. Just woke up, so our throat's a bit croaky. Enjoy that, and also the sound of the rain outside. I'm doing my best uh, radio voice that I can. Welcome to uh, After Effects with Monkey. So I've been wanting to do these, these uh, images. One is this one here, be right back. One is this one here stream ending soon and one is this one here stream start starting soon i wanted to do these guys for a while for my twitch to animate them because sometimes when especially the stream starting soon like you don't know if anything's happening you don't know if the screen's frozen because nothing's happening so i've been wanting to animate them for a while not sure why i started with be right back but i did so this is the original it's be right back it's just digby i stole this image from ages ago when I first drew Digby and I just popped be right back grab yourself a snack next to it so this is the original and then underneath this layer this is after effects guys if you've never seen it uh this is these are layers here uh under this layer is oh uh, this which changed a little bit I didn't realize I nudged it down so much but that's fine and I'm just gonna hide all of these layers here because their leaves and we don't, we don't want to look at those right now we'll look at them in a second so there's only uh i'll show you the animation so i think the leaves are a little bit clunky like um if you can like see them at you know like the green ones at the top here are all bunched together and then the ones on the side are bunched together uh that's because i've basically duplicated the layers so i need to fix the leaves anyway because uh, I was meant to just loop them, have a four second animation and loop it, but I couldn't figure out how to loop the leaves in the time that I had. I just made it a five minute, sec a five minute long 
video with the leaves uh going crazy like this but yeah i do want to fix the leaves but basically so his little tail moves his arm goes up and down like he's gonna bite his banana and then the leaves are moving it's just quite simple so i just wanted to quickly show you how i did it so we've got just the background here and then i've got the circle where digby sits and then i have uh the digby text which i did fix up because it was a little bit broken in photoshop and then i have some leaves here which are behind Digby and then I have Digby and then I have the leaves on top which I've hidden. This is a pre-comp which basically means it's kind of like a group um, if you've never used After Effects it uses comps like a composition and uh, you can put them inside each other so this is like a group so if I click into here we'll go into this composition and this is Digby so basically what I did I'll just turn the background on so you can see I had this image of Digby and he's actually, I actually put him into different layers. So let's see what, what layers I did. So I've got his tail on one layer and so I could animate that on its own. Then I have his arm so I could animate that on its own. And I basically just cut it up with masks. And then I have, uh, that's his glasses actually. Yeah, I made this little, if I turn this off, I made this little, mask here which follows his glass which basically stays on his glasses because before they were colored in and some of it was colored in some of it wasn't so his tail would pop up and then disappear again which is a bit annoying and then lastly i have uh his body which is in front so everything's moving behind him what happens is he just does this he waves it's a four second long um animation it just loops and then yeah, there we go. So I'll start with the tail, which is the most fun part. So basically, uh, all I've done with the tail is just highlight the tail actually, and then we can see that a bit better. So if I click on the tail, you, this little dot down here is where the anchor point is. So that's where it's gonna rotate from. So if I was gonna rotate this, it would, ro it would rotate around that point, see? So I moved the anchor point there, and then basically I just have it rotating back and forward and you can see there's a little bend on it there and the bend is this fun little effect called CC bend it and basically it just like really it warps the shape like this right <laughs> which is a bit silly so I have the tail rotating and then just behind so when the tail gets to the point the bend follows like it's a little bit overlaid so it kind of looks like it's um delayed action I don't, I, animation words i'm too tired right now at 7 a.m <laughs> but you guys know what i mean it's like uh you know and then the arm is also very sim super simple actually i wasn't i didn't want to do i mean if i really wanted to i could like rig up digby's head his face i mean and I could have him, you know, opening his mouth and whatever, taking a chunk out of the banana, but that was way too much work for a Twitch animation. So this one here is literally just down and up. And you can kind of see when he moves, he bounces a little bit. So on the rotation here, this is getting a little bit extreme, but I have this script on here. Which looks really confusing, but it's just a cut and paste job, so don't worry. And you can change these numbers here to make um, it like if I if I put this. Okay, let's put this up to twelve, and we'll see what it does. Um, ah, look at that! It's going crazy. So basically, what it does, I know that his banana, he would never reach his mouth. Okay, um, scientifically, it wouldn't work. Also, at one point. I did have Digby's head. I have Digby's head separate so I can like rotate him a little. I mean, you don't really want to do that. It was rotating like, it's kind of impossible to rotate because it comes off of his body. But at one point I was thinking as the banana came up, he could go to meet it. But I did do a test and it looked a little bit rude. So I didn't do that. So that is basically it, it's pretty simple. And then, like I mentioned before, I have the leaves. If I turn these leaves back on, you'll be able to see those as well. The leaves are the bits I want to change just because I don't really like them. So if I go into one of these leaves comp, you can basically see it's a loop. So the leaves just come down and they kind of like float a little bit. Um, they rotate a little bit as they're moving. So I did have them moving like a lot more. Um, I also had them blowing at, at one point. I was like practicing different stuff. 
and then I was going to take this comp which is 14 seconds and I was going to try and loop it like from about here to about here where there were still leaves on the screen uh, but the, I couldn't figure out how to do it like I've done I've done stuff like this before but I would have to watch a tutorial or something uh, so I just couldn't figure out how to do it so instead I just did this which is where I took these green layers here and basically just repeated them so as one was leaving another one would come on and that's why they look a little bit awkward because basically uh, the the leaves like these two if you can see the two blue leaves in the upper left they're the same but I just rotated I just moved like some of the leaves in this this complex some of these comps are rotated a little bit it's a bit clunky but I mean for twitch overlay <laughs> it took me you know maybe an hour to do it's uh I think it's pretty cool so my next step is to do the so stream ending soon I'm gonna have his little arm kind of probably shifting up and down and his head bobbing along with music and his tail and then I want to have all these leaves like blow enough screen and this would be fine because they can come out it's almost like they can they can come out of the blower or they can start off small and then they can uh, blow off screen and then they can like disappear and then the next one can come so that'll be easy to loop and then the last one or really it should have been the first one is this one here where i'm probably just gonna have his little foot bobbing and i'm gonna have maybe i'll have his mouth open and closed like he's blowing um and then his tail moving and the notes coming up which i think will be nice and i want to have a little clock under the text here to kind of count down so people know they can get a cup of coffee or you know get their stuff ready before the stream starts so that was it i just wanted to show you just wanted to show you this little animation i did because i did it yesterday and uh it's for my twitch and i really like it i think it's really cute so let me know what you think all right uh voiceover april over and out and uh, that's it for me for now. So I'm gonna get back to editing this video and I will pop back later and say hi. So this is our, this is our kitchen. It's a bit hard to see because it's daylight, but um, all the under, under thingamabob lights, only one of them works right at the end. And then on the ceiling, only one of them works. So at nighttime, this is extremely, extremely dull in here. Hello. It's about 7 p.m. Sunday evening and I just finished uh, doing some work on that freelance project. And now I'm just doing a couple of orders. Put myself here so you can see the painting behind me. If you guys are new here, uh, if you want, I don't think I've mentioned this painting probably for about a year, but we got it in South Africa when we went last year or two was it yeah it was last year last may it's an african wild dog and i fell in love with it when i saw it so we bought it and we brought it home with us but um yeah it's about seven o'clock matt and i have been working since about 10 10 30 this morning on this project nowhere near done um there's like 66 pages of the storyboard and i think i'm on page 17 right now with the images so a lot of work left to do i'm gonna try and do a little bit next week and a little bit the week after so I just had to stop because I was getting really tired and I also had a couple of orders to do which I um, don't know if you can hear Gertie, she's going crazy in the background cutting stickers out. I just had to cut a few sticker sheets out, just two sticker sheets actually because I was, I, didn't, I literally don't have any sticker sheets right now guys. Normally at the end of the month, last weekend would have been the weekend I would have done my big restock but I, th I can't remember, I think I, oh, I was super busy last weekend busy this week weekend too just didn't have time and to be honest sales haven't been like booming uh my sale that i had for one year anniversary on etsy brought in a few lovely little sales so thank you if you um ordered when i had that little offer going but apart from that the last couple of months have been pretty quiet i think uh, around the interwebs i've heard a lot of people say their shops are quiet this month so I just thought I'd just wing it for a couple of weeks until I have a bit more time and I can do a proper like restock. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing. Um, I'll show you the lights in the kitchen because they've made a big difference. So the kitchen's a bit messier, a bit messier than this morning, but the landlord was here for like four hours and we've got all the lights working now. We still don't have them under here, which is a shame because normally we have one under there and we have one up there, but uh, he's gonna fix those and bring them back to us. I can actually see what I'm cooking now, which is nice. Right, let's go. Let's go give Gertie some work to do.